Good morning, everybody. Time to do a quick hello uh, before my ride gets here. I'm on my way to church right now. Let's give you the time and date stamp. Uh, it is 7 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Sunday, March 16th, 2014. And happy birthday to my brother. That's right, it's his birthday today and happy birthday to anyone else who celebrates on the 16th of March. Oh, it's been another one of those, uh, well... <laughs> it's always been another one of those days. Right? It's always another one of those days. <laughs> uh, I'm still in my oscillating sleep pattern. That means I can't sleep for too long, but when I'm up, uh, I feel like I need to go back to bed again within half hour, 45 minutes. So That's, kind of, that's what we call oscillating sleep. Uh, I'm still kind of in that pattern, although the length of time I'm sleeping seems to be getting longer. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But anyways, uh, I'm off to study Greek uh, uh, at church. That's about f uh, four or five hours there. And then I'll be back to see if I can sleep in the afternoon. And I've decided to put off most of the work until the evening. And that way we'll get back on schedule again. Try to get back on schedule again. And try some new stuff. Uh, in this BTS vlog that uh, I haven't tried before. We'll do some new stuff with the music studio. We'll do some new stuff back at the warehouse. We'll see how that works out. We'll see, you know, that's, that's the goal anyways. And I'm trying, I'm thinking of it. I'm going to try to do some filming in the uh, kitchen, the uh, kitchen diner. So we'll see what happens there. Now, in other words, these things are all more or less ready to go. There is some are some issues, but uh, if I can get most of these issues resolved within the next two days, with or between today and tomorrow, then then uh, we'll be all right to do the filming. So, uh, yay for that. Uh, <laughs> uh. What else is there today? Um, I still got to do the finish the work on the DNS. I got to do the uh, DNS configuration files. I did a little bit of that last night, a little more of it, but there's still a lot more. To, I think there's another day's worth of work to do, so everything should be the DNS should be all ready and finished by Monday. One thing I want to let you people know is if if you run Ubuntu or or Kubuntu, uh, you need to check your version. Um, from 13.4 to 13.10. If you've done a new install or upgraded, there is a startup program uh, that you have to go and start up and click and turn it off. It is the K <coughs> Remote Management da da uh, Daemon. Daemon. For some reason, they enabled a remote control daemon in 13.4 and 13.5 and 13.4 and 13.10 without telling anybody. They have security holes in this. People will try to attack your system. They will try to take your system over. And I didn't realize that. It looked like, but I caught it in time. I turned it off. But this is something you need to check for. You need, you need to check every time you do a new install or an upgrade to Ubuntu or Kubuntu, check your startup uh, servers. What's starting up? Start, what's starting up? This is sort of in the uh, user settings there you know the system settings go there look at the startup and shutdown 
Uh, and look at the services that are running, start up with everything, and make sure that the services that give people remote control is turned off. In other words, you want the remote management systems turned off in the beginning. Not until you know how to configure them and configure them right, then you turn them on. And you turn them on by yourself. You make sure that you turn them on and don't let them be, be turned on automatically by the system. So uh, that's it. That's what I have to say. I think that's going to be it for now. And I will talk to you guys uh, in a couple of hours. So, anyways, have a good day. Bye-bye. Je uh, <laughs> sorry. It is just about midday, and uh, I was supposed to vlog earlier in the morning at the back in the back room on the couch, but uh, that's not the kind of day it is today. The kind of day it is today is um, uh, a little one of the well, it's it's our it's our typical things always pop up at the, in the un at the unusual times and. Uh, it kind of screws everything up. So um, let me give you the date and time stamp. Sorry, the time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Monday, March 17th, 2014. And because we're doing a midday vlog, we're going to do an end of the day vlog. Hopefully. Uh, what happened was, and this, this is one of the reasons why you have to be here all the time. Normally, you know, computers do, do work on, on, on average pretty good. They work. They run pretty well, but you do have to occasionally get up in the middle of the night and take care of something that goes wrong. So last night around four or five o'clock in the morning, I got up to have something to drink. I noticed there was something wrong with the network. Went to check the main uh, part of the network, the, the part of the network that sort of brings everything in and, and spreads it out. That's the router. And noticed the router was down. Was disconnected from the internet. So I went around, checked everything, made sure all the connections were tight, and then rebooted the router. That brought brought everything back up. But that took about 45 minutes. It took about 45 minutes to sort of check everything, make sure everything was working properly. It took about 45 minutes to sort of uh, reboot the router and get everything back online properly the way it should be, and to check to make sure that everything was okay. And then I went back to bed, but that means uh, I didn't get to bed until about uh, 5.30, and I ended up uh, waking up about 10.30, came to the front room to check something, and never ended up going back to the back room to sort of uh, do the, uh, the beginning of the day uh, segment of, uh, B of the BTS vlog. So here we are now doing the third segment. Rather than being doing it at the beginning of the day, we're doing it midday. And yeah, midday, it's <laughs> I just finished having breakfast. Uh, and it's... Uh, uh, it's a, just about quarter to three, a quarter to three in the afternoon. It's about uh, it's two forty-five p.m. So that's kind of how things are going. Uh, I have been doing more work. Uh, let's, let's talk about the uh, Beauty and the Geek show. Uh, the Beauty and the Geek show is, is moving along. I am retooling it, rescheduling it, and sort of re-rejigging re it. What I decided to do uh, is, as, and this has to do with, with uh, the uh, segment, the first segment, might call my style. Uh, as I'm building the uh, the uh, design sewing room back uh, back behind you, uh, what ended up happening? I started realizing as I was watching more of the stuff on on uh, on Japanese style because most of the style that come that I get for, that I like comes from the uh, Japanese. Uh, influence of Kawaii, which is in Harajuku. So I have found uh, on YouTube and on the internet uh, this show called Kawaii International, and I've been watching it now for the past couple of weeks, getting to know what's what on there. So I wrote down a whole bunch of notes. And I decided that I noticed that a lot of the different interesting TV shows, a lot more of the TV shows, are now starting to go behind subscription walls and that you can't get these shows unless you pay for them. And so what I decided to do is make, and this is the whole purpose of Open IP TV. Open IP TV 
has to provide TV shows, half hour TV shows, that you can watch just like you would watch any other show, but it's not behind the subscription wall. In other words, you're not going to be having to pay uh, $50 a month or whatever it is to get a TV show. This is pick and choose what you want, watch as much as you want, watch wherever you want, whether it's on your phone, uh, on your TV, on uh, a big uh, in Japan, in China, in wherever you want to be, and whatever you want to watch, you can, it's up to you to choose what you want to watch. That's Open IP TV. And so I'm going to bring uh, Beauty and the Geek further into Open IP TV, just the way I did with uh, uh, the uh, BTS logs. And that's why there's some of the change going. And I'm going to be doing doing uh, basically. Uh, the fashion is going towards uh, Kawhi, towards Harajuku. This is where is the route is going to be. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of the fashion design. And uh, this is where the focus is going to be. And so everything else is going to sort of revolve around that. And you'll see this hopefully this week when I finish the rewrite to Beauty and the Geek. It's a complete reformat of Beauty and the Geek. Uh, and it's going to be around the, centered around this particular... Uh, uh, topic of Kawhi, this view of Kawhi, that is, that, which is uh, fundamentally based in Harajuku in Japan, but it does spread out across a whole bunch of different areas, and I will go into a number of these different areas and talk about the whole uh, Kawhi cosplay, uh, Lolita interplay, the different, the, how they connect together, and show you some of the other, some of the options that are out there. And in addition, to sort of helping people, sort of. Uh, make their own decision as to where they want to go with this. So, uh, this is what's going to happen. Uh, uh, this is sort of the, uh, s some of the ideas behind the show development. I have a project in the back uh, on uh, in the uh, machine shop warehouse that is kind of stalled right now. I've been tired over the weekend, so I haven't been able to do much of the cleaning over the weekend. So that means, uh, hopefully later on tonight, I can start doing some more cleaning and fix it up so I can do some shooting behind there uh, in, in the back warehouse tomorrow. Uh, I also have to do some work on the kitchen, more work on the kitchen diner. The kitchen diner is actually working. It's now functioning. The kitchen diner is functioning. It's now a matter of getting, a matter of getting it uh, photographed, ready, photographed ready so that I can film back there. And that's what's sort of left to do. And that's just about a week to two weeks worth of work. And so within a week to two weeks, we should be filming back. We should be filming back in the kitchen diner. So that will be uh, good as well. I also have some new... Uh, options for the music studio. I'll be doing something like covers in karaoke in the music studio. And I'm working on a setup now that will allow me to do that. And it, you, I, I'll be filming and you'll be able to hear it at the same time. So, we, you know, there are a number of things that have to be tested out that have to be sort of worked around uh, before we get to our, you know, <laughs> our larger shoots. So, uh... Otherwise, uh, things are, as I said, things are going well. Things are progressing. It's just, um, th there's a lot of detail to be taken care of. There's a lot of work to get done. And uh, it doesn't always get done the way you expect it would get done. This is sort of, a, you know, failure, failure, and yet more failure. And slowly but surely, you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And you think it's going, ah, it's getting better. But uh, and then, you start, then you start all over again. Anyways, that's it for this segment. For the third, third segment, I'll see you in a couple hours for the fourth, fourth, for the fourth segment for the BTS vlogs. And yeah, take it easy. Oh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time to start another day, and, uh, and it's also the last segment of this series of BTS vlogs. I think it's from. Let me get the calendar up here. It's from. Uh, Sunday, March 16th to Tuesday, March 18th. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the, the time period we're talking about in terms of the BTS vlog. <laughs> so let's get our timer started. Started now. And so let's give you the time and date stamp. It is 10 hours and 27 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 18th, 2014. And uh, I'm still in the uh, I'm still in the um, we call the oscillating sleep mode. Uh, my sleep hasn't returned to some degree of normality in terms of the length of sleep. Uh, so I am up in the middle of the sleep. I'm up every couple hours, 
uh, for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and then I go back to sleep again. Uh, it's a bizarre schedule like that. It, it really does make your day a very bizarre, you know, in terms of its, it, in terms of the way it feels. Uh, but you do, at some point in time, get used to it. You do get used to the fatigue. You do get used to uh, how you feel, and you sort of plod along until you start feeling better. And that usually hits. That usually today, tomorrow, like when Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be the peak. Uh, and I should be able to even move uh, into Friday with the peak still. Uh, and then you start trailing off again from fr from Friday. Friday is when you start trailing off. Uh, and you hit your bottom. Um, I hit my bottom anyways. Uh, just around Sunday Sunday uh, afternoon, I hit my bottom. Hit my low. And it takes me a couple days to sort of pick back up again. And... Uh, <laughs> Start the week all over again. Start the cycle all over again. Uh, anyways, uh, I've got a lot scheduled for today. Let's see what I can get done. I did more work on the DNS server last yesterday. I did more work on Beauty and the Geek. I said I'm going to completely retool Beauty and the Geek. Uh, now that we are, we've been off for these last couple of weeks. Anyway, you know, for we've been off for a good month, so I'm gonna really retool Beauty and the Geek. Realize I can bring some of the stuff I'm doing on Beauty Geek into here, just the way I did uh, for this vlog and other things. Because this 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 show here, the segment of uh, of of uh, Big Bang Theory RL, Big Bang Theory RL is the entire show. This segment of of Big Bang Theory RL, known as BTS Vlog, BTS stands for Behind the Scenes. So. Because it's behind the scenes vlog, I can bring in a lot of the stuff that I'm working on for Beauty and the Geek into here. Just the way I've done for everything else, you know? And that's what I've started to do is I've started bringing more of the shows that are in development and the shows that are, are in season zero. I'm starting to bring them more into here. That gives us more content to work with and we can have more to talk about and makes it more interesting. So, uh, that's what's happening with Beauty and the Geek. It's also, uh, I'm still working on the, uh, the design room, the sewing and design room. That means I also have to be working on the uh, machine shop warehouse. Uh, it is not exactly in filming state just yet. I should have that done. Where we actually might be able to film something uh, sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how that works out. To see you know how these how the vlogs go. We'll see how much content we can get in here. Uh, and as it with Beauty and the Geek, I'm headed towards. Uh, more of a Kawaii Harajuku uh, format uh, that I saw on YouTube that I saw the show on YouTube that I liked called Kawaii International it's from NH NHK, NHK World I like the show and I think I'm going to sort of uh, move my show in that direction the reason being is that most of the shows that I've seen on, on that I liked in terms of the fashion shows are now all locked up behind subscriptions it's very difficult to get them uh, and I've, uh, I, can, I can only see part of these shows because uh, the opening series, or opening beginning of the series, where the show wasn't known that well, they left it open to the public. Now the show is no more, and it's closed off to the public. You can't get it anymore. So my thing is is that Beauty and the Geek is starting off open to the public. It's going to stay open to the public no matter how popular it gets. I'm never going to be moving the content that I develop here behind a subscription wall. It will always be open on YouTube. You will always be able to view it wherever you want to be, wherever you are. You're not going to have to be geographically restricted in terms of what you see, in terms of American content. Uh, you know, I want my open IPTV, TV, my open IPTV to be as open as possible to give you the choices of what you want to watch, when you want to watch it, and how you want to watch it. So this is, the, this is where all these things are going to go. These are the different things I have to sort of work out and how to put different content here content in here make it palatable so that is like watching a regular tv show that you're not watching something that's well <laughs> hokey <laughs> i know it's a bit hokey but you know for those of you who are old enough uh to remember uhf well this is how things are going to start this, you, this is going to be starting starting off as a uf as a uf uh uhf channel you know this is the way it starts off. It's something that's home home brewed. It's not fancy. It's not big, uh, like a Hollywood production. 
Uh, th- and this is what UHF. UHF were, were uh, the uh, in, in the early tele- in, in the early TV days before cable. UHF was where all the channels that uh, weren't big channels. There were small channels. That's where they all were. The main channels were all on. There were thirteen of them, and they were all fronting for space on the third big thirteen dials, the fir- big thirteen channels uh, between uh, on the, something known as VHF. That's very high frequency. Uh, that's where all the popular channels were. All the major channels were on VHF. If you were a sub channel or, or a small channel, you'd be on UHF. This is again, this is before cable. So if you want to go, you know, if you if you're younger, you don't know about this. Go in to Google and Google UHF, and you'll find out from UHF. And it's, you're talking about TV channels now. And UHF stands for high frequency. You know, uh, uh, UHF stands for ultra high frequency. That's what it stands for, ultra high frequency. And you're talking about TV channels. So you can do if it doesn't give you a good good enough just doing UHF. Do UHF TV channels, and. You do that, you, you're not going to find anything current. What you will find is you'll find a lot of history behind it. And this is how you can compare YouTube and Open TV to uh, UHF, the UH, UH, UHF channels. Anyways, uh, our time is up, and this is it for our last segment. I will see you in a couple hours for the next uh, BTS vlog that will take us. Ah, oh, well, uh, I have no idea how long it's going to take. It will be one or two days. We'll see how it works out. Depends on how much content we can actually get in here. Okay, bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.